everyone a very good evening to all of you and welcome back to yet another live by hitbull's eye on cuet so in today's live we are going to discuss yet another very important topic from exam point of view in particular for your cuet exam right and the topic is vocabulary tricks for cuet so we all have been you know rigorously learning words their meanings hum hum itne sare words ab tak learn kar chuke hain राइट और बहुत बार हमें ऐसा लगता है कि मे बी वी आर नॉट एबल टू रिटेन ऑल दैट वी हैव लर्न सो इन टूडेज लाइफ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इजी वेज ऑफ लर्निंग वो कैबलरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड देन रिमेंबरिंग इट सो इफ यू Uh, you know think of the difficulties we face while learning vocabulary or applying it the two major difficulty is the first one is retention that you are properly understanding the meaning of the word how you are relating to it how you are understanding it and the second one is its usage right so the first one is the retention how you uh, you know fit it in your mind how you it should remain in your mind and you should remember it at the time of your exam and the second one is its usage so first of all you need to devise a way how to learn words and then second you should know by looking or by noticing the part of speech or the role of part of speech that word is playing how to apply that word in a proper context so we know a word can be changed from noun to adjective or even to the verbs right so for example the word pen which is a noun can be turned uh, can be used as penned in a verb form so you should have a knowledge of this because this is something that is going to help you in questions based on fill in the blanks or find the um, error find the part which has the error in the sentence so for example you will be given a sentence so and it will be divided into pieces certain sentence is given to you it will be broken into uh, parts named a b c and d and you will have to find out which part has the error so for this not just grammar but also the knowledge of words your vocabulary your uh, command on the spelling of the words is also going to help you so without any further delay let's begin with today's lecture so first of all what are we going to discuss in today's lecture the things to be discussed are we will see why is vocabulary so important though we all are able to converse in english very well we all know how to you know initiate a conversation how to convey our message to the other person in english language but when it comes to competitive exam there is a certain different set of rules or let's say different set of words that you need to learn and acquire so we'll see the importance of vocabulary then we'll move on to why we need to improve and increase it why do we need to do it because it is a very common area in almost all the competitive exam and if we want to have that edge over the other students it becomes important that we learn it and then we will see the challenges that we face while dealing with vocabulary and some tricks and tips so i've had this from so many students that they face different challenges while learning the vocabulary if we talk about rcs this is something that you can practice over time you can initiate reading you can associate things and understand things but when it comes to vocabulary especially when you are simply learning the words directly without any context it becomes really hard to retain it in your memory so we will see some tricks of how to learn words in an easy way so what are some false perceptions about vocabulary we know the false perception that we all possess are the first one is i know all of it right so there are two set of people do tarah ke log hote hain ek hote hain jo over confident hote hain jinhe lagta hai ki hum bachpan se english medium pad rahe hain mujhe pata hai vocabulary mein kaun kaun se important words ho sakte hain and the other set of people is i know nothing of it and they skip the part 
this part of paper all together so both these set if you are also one who belongs to any of these sets it's going to be dangerous for you kyunki ye dono hi set aise hain jo they do not touch the section of vocabulary they don't practice uh, enough questions based on vocabulary so we don't have to be one among these two categories right then why to work on it we ask this to ourselves why are we aimlessly learning so many words and not applying them in our speech as in the trite ye question sabke mind mein aata hai that we lack motivation to learn words kyunki ye hame kahan kaam aane wale hain to ye hame kaam aane wale hain exams mein yes it's true that for the conversation we just need a few words we can easily convey our message just by learning a few words but when it comes to exam yes it is very important to acquire a good number of words add a good number of words to your vocabulary so it is in my dna ye wala category bhi jo hai over confident students ki category mein count hota hai so what we think is that okay my parents have been using english i have been speaking in english from childhood i will easily you know ace the por the english portion of the exam so i'm not going to waste my time on vocabulary rather i will use it on other areas of the exam this is again going to be a you know dangerous situation it is going to pose a dangerous situation for you so what is the overconfidence what is the crux it is that bachpan se english medium padha hai to vocabulary part ya fir rc part ya fir in general english section to hum attempt kar hi lenge isn't that the overconfidence we all possess yes that's true but we need to overcome it trust me aise bahut sare words hain english mein exams mein jo aapke samne aane wale hain aur jinka shayad aapko koi idea na ho to aise situation mein hame kya karna chahiye yahi hum seekhne wale hain aaj ke hamare live mein so importance first of all let us see what is the importance of this section to solve questions based on not just antonyms synonyms idiom phrases analogy and sentences but also questions related to sentence completion one word substitution and many more so we know vocabulary can come in different forms wo antonyms ki forms mein aapse question pooch sakte hain ek word aapko diya hoga question mein ऑप्शंस में बहुत सारे ऑपोजिट वर्ड्स दिए होंगे एंड यू विल डेफिनेटली यू नो गन गेट कन्फ्यूज इन द ऑप्शंस बिकॉज एग्जामिनर एग्जामिनर और द पेपर सेटर इज स्मार्ट इनफ टू पुट कन्फ्यूजिंग चॉइसेस ऐसे ही सिनोनिम्स पे भी क्वेश्चंस आ सकते हैं या फिर ईडियम्स और फ्रेजेस नाउ देर आर सर्टेन फ्रेजेस व्हिच आर यूज इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ और इन जनरल यूज दे आर सीन एवरीवेयर बट स्टिल वी सम टाइम लैक नॉलेज ऑफ देम एंड ट्रस्ट मी दिस वन पोर्शन दैट इज फ्रेजेस एंड ईडियम्स इज वन दैट पोजेज मच ऑफ द डिफिकल्टी फॉर अस so next is analogy analogy is drawing similarity between two words two likely words and we draw some kind of relationship or some kind of similarity between the two and the next one is sentence completion so you will be given a sentence and there will be a word or a phrase missing in it only if you have the right knowledge you know the meaning of the words given in the option you will be able to attempt it correctly aur agar options mein se ek ya do words bhi aise honge jo aapke liye bilkul unknown honge aapne kabhi nahi sune honge to definitely aapko lagne wala hai ki shayad yahi option jiska mujhe meaning nahi pata yahi option yahan fit hoga right so it becomes very important to accumulate words into our vocabulary right again one word substitution can also come in exam so it uh, you cannot ignore what what all can't you ignore the first thing is role of vocabulary in understanding rcs that is reading comprehension now uh, okay there can be direct questions from vocabulary and on the other hand there are questions based on rcs sentence rearrangement para completion or completing the sentence which are all indirectly based on vocabulary if you are not able to comprehend the language of the paper how will you be able to attempt the questions right so for that you need to know a particular uh, you know a lot many vocab uh, words right again analogies question can come from this section 
it can help you in essay writing and interviews so basically this is just to show you how important learning words is how important is it to accumulate words into your bank of vocab so what are the what are some of the challenges that we face the first thing is retention and usage as i've already discussed to retention hai kisi bhi naye word ko na sirf yaad karna use apni memory mein retain karna taki aap jab baad mein exam de rahe hain to aapko wo word us time pe click kar jana chahiye ki ha iska ye meaning tha aur maine ye word padha tha the second is usage usage is you've learned the words right you know the meaning but do you know how to apply it in the sentence correctly so that is usage so development is gradual and very boring this is again another challenge for students unhe kya lagta hai ki vocab development to hum kar lenge but it becomes very boring hai na hame words yaad nahi hote hain ya fir yaad kar le to lambe time tak yaad nahi rehte hain no motivation as vocabulary is endless the one single point that every student mentions is ki kitne words yaad kare kitne words yaad karna enough hoga jab hamare paas koi ek aim na ho hame limits na pata ho to motivation lose karna is a quite normal thing but then you have to think of that this is a highly competitive exam india ka second most competitive exam hai cuet aapko sochna hoga ki aap kaise apni motivation वोकेबलरी से रिलेटेड आप डेवलप कर पा रहे हैं कैसे आप वर्ड्स को याद कर रहे हैं राइट सो नो मैटर वॉट यू हैव टू टेल योर सेल्फ दैट येस आई कैन डू इट एंड आई विल डेफिनेटली डू इट सो आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ द ट्रिक्स टू इम्प्रूव वोकेबलरी नाउ दिस इज अ सॉलिड चैलेंज हमें नहीं पता होता कि क्या ट्रिक्स होती हैं वोकेबलरी को इम्प्रूव करने की तो हम एमलेसली और बहुत ज़्यादा हार्डवर्क अपना इस चीज़ पर लगा देते हैं कि हम पूरी लिस्ट याद करने की कोशिश करते हैं वो कैबलरी की वी रैंडमली गो ऑन लर्निंग वर्ड्स दैट आर न्यू टू अस एंड इवेंचुअली वी डोंट रिमेंबर देम बट देन देर आर ट्रिक्स एंड टिप्स फॉर लर्निंग वो कैबलरी ऑल्सो लेट्स सी वट आर दे so tricks to learn vocabulary so broadly there are these few tricks the first one is root method root method is as in when you know the meaning of the root word aapko ek word diya hoga jise aap further divide kar sakte hain aur usme ek root word hoga agar aapko root word ka meaning pata hai you will definitely be able to somewhere guess the uh, meaning of that word next one is contextual method to so, पहला ओके बिफोर दिस इफ वी सी देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ मीनिंग्स ऑफ द वर्ड द फर्स्ट वन इज लिटरल जब आपको पता है कि हाँ वर्ड का क्या मीनिंग है अगर आपको वर्ड का मीनिंग आज सच नहीं पता वॉट यू कैन डू इज लुक एट दी नेबरिंग वर्ड्स ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर वर्ड आप कॉन्टेक्स्ट को देखें कि कॉन्टेक्स्ट में क्या कहा गया है अकॉर्डिंग टू इट यू कैन वाइजली गेस दैट वॉट दिस वर्ड कैन मीन एंड देन टेली योर गेस्ट वर्ड with the words given in the options and then you'll surely be able to do it so hard work hi nahi bahut sara smart work bhi chahiye hota hai vocabulary ke questions ko deal karne ke liye next is association method association method is jab aap cheezon ko associate karte ho kisi ek word ko yaad karne ke liye agar aap use kisi bhi memory picture ya fir kisi bhi theory ya Uh, let's say किसी story से associate करके अगर आप उस word को याद कर पा रहे हो that is good uh, that is good enough to remember that word right so this one is association method next is word family now there are certain words linked to each other because of some some common meaning they all have or at least they are connected in some way we'll see it with an example in the upcoming slide and the last and the most important is reading yes i am i have emphasized it by underlining this word reading as such if you go on learning words you are not going to remember it but when you read and to understand that context you go on searching the words you will definitely remember it trust me in the exam or in the life ahead whenever you come across a word you are always going to remember it okay i've read it there and i know it was used like this in that line and it meant like that right so reading is very important so example of root method to hum one by one in sabko samajhte hain with examples jo humne tricks abhi discuss ki hain the first one is example of root method 
the words can be like bio we all know we all uh, we all have read biology right so bio as such means life so bio is a root word jisse hum biology biodiversity biosphere jaise words construct karte hain to agar hame bio ka meaning pata hai uske baad jo bhi uh, suffix uske sath add hua hai we will be able to guess the meaning of it as a whole like hydra which means water and words made up by this root word is hydrogen hydrophobia hydroplane and dehydration to hamara jo root word hai wo prefix bhi ho sakta hai wo suffix bhi ho sakta hai and it can come somewhere in the middle also but the thing is it is going to give us a hint that what can it mean so these are relatively simpler examples i've taken just to explain it to you you can go for a little bit more difficult examples also so next is therm which means heat and this makes up words like thermos thermometer thermal again related to heat and hypothermia राइट द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज जियो विच मीन्स अर्थ जियो से क्या वर्ड्स बन सकते हैं एग्जाम्पल्स आर जियोग्राफी जियोलॉजी जियो पोलिटिक्स ऐसे ही बेने एक वर्ड है जिसका मतलब होता है गुड और इन फॉर दी वेल बींग ऑफ पीपल राइट द वर्ड्स कैन बी बेनिफिट बेनेवलेंट एंड बेने फैक्टर नाउ यू सी देर वर इवन मोर वर्ड्स विद यू नो विच विच कैन बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड फ्रॉम दीज सिंगल वर्ड्स but i've chosen just three or four of them you can go on looking for other words also what you can do is you can make your own lists aap apne khud ke acronyms bana sakte hain list bana sakte hain ya flash cards bana sakte hain to remember these root words or in se related jo bhi words construct kiye ja sakte hain unhe yaad karne ke liye you need to have the knowledge of that root word right so next one is contextual meaning let's see if uh, who who all can answer this question the first one contextual meaning is when you look at the context or the neighboring words and you try to guess the meaning of that word so looking at the context of this word incognito tell me what can be the meaning of this word let's see who's going to answer this Yes, guys. Any guy, any wise guesses? Right. So, if you look at the context, the king used to move incognito at night. Now that he is moving at the night time and not at the day time, not in the light, he it must be something that he want to hide from people, right? so at night to know the common man's problem so he is doing this particular activity at the time of night in the darkness so that no one recognizes him so what can be the meaning of incognito can it be in style why would he move in style and unnecessarily gain attention of people around him the next one is openly so if he wanted to move openly he would have moved at the daylight right in the daylight next is on the street so this option is absurd so on the street is not something that that's, that's going to fit here the last one is disguised disguised is uh, he was uh, you know in a costume we can say or he was he was hiding his identity so yes disguised is the right answer for incognito so our answer is the fourth one similarly if you look at the next option the crowd grew restive even as it became 10 pm and the minister had still not arrived so what do we have to do we have to look for the trigger words like the crowd grew restive so this is some quality this word is showing some quality of the crowd now what is that quality and what was the uh, reason for that uh, you know disposition or that quality of the audience so even as it became 10 pm ki 10 uh 
क्योंकि 10 बज चुके थे एज इवन एज इट बिकेम 10 पी एम द क्राउड ग्रो रेस्टिव एंड द मिनिस्टर हैड स्टिल नॉट अराइव तो 10 बज चुके थे इट वॉज 10 पी एम एंड द मिनिस्टर स्टिल हैड नॉट अराइव नाउ डेफिनेटली दिस इज नॉट समथिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू यू नो काम द ऑडियंस और प्रोवाइड दम एनी काइंड ऑफ प्लेजर राइट दिस इज ऑपोजिट टू काम सो वट आर आर ऑप्शन द ऑप्शन इज वायलेंट एंग्री रेस्टलेस or distressed so all the words are showing negative connotation that is perfectly fine but we have to find one such word which aptly fits this word restive so tell me can the audience gr uh, grow violent or angry is it going to serve their purpose can they be distressed so their being distressed is not going to affect the minister or his arrival so what could be the logical or the most convincing answer it is restless what can the audience do the audience there there are guards also what can the audience do so they are waiting for the minister who's not yet arrived it's already 10 pm they they just became restless right so the answer is restless in this way you have to look at the context you have to use your wise guessing you have to use your logical reasoning and then you can definitely guess the answer so here one other thing is whenever there is not a negative marking in the exam you can definitely go on guessing each and every answer but when there is negative marking what i would suggest is be smart enough of your choices what all um, sentences or what all questions you want to attempt and what all you want to skip right so next is association method association method is when you associate things to you know remember them in long term the first one is fitness I've given two pictures here just by you know images captures more of our attention and they try to you know fit in our mind so if you look at these picture the first one is of manmohan singh and next one is an actress diya mirza so what can be the probable meaning of fitness what are these two personalities known for yes guys any guesses so manmohan singh was known for skill in handling a situation or manipulation of a particular situation he was the one um, who improved our economy in 1991 right in the early 1990s we can say and diya mirza is known for her grace and elegance so just by remembering this picture you're going to remember the meaning of the word fitness similarly if we move on to the next slide so there is a picture of urmila she seems scared she seems scared and here we have a word phobia which means fear of something right and just by this root word see two methods are being applied here here we are learning the root method also and we are learning the association method also so phobia and there are different types of phobias like necrophobia arachnophobia hydrophobia and bibliophobia now necrophobia is the fear of dead or fear of death or dead bodies we can say arachnophobia is the fear of spiders and insects like that like spider hydrophobia we all know here there are two root words phobia and hydro hydro we've already done related to water so this is fear of water and bibliophobia again there are two uh, root words biblio related to books and phobia is fear so fear of books is bibliophobia as easy as that so just by learning one word you are learning too many words and if you remember urmila and her uh, you know scared face you're going to remember the meaning of these words yeah it might seem funny but this is the thing this is the idea i want to convey you can associate words with anything related or anything around you right because trust me this is going to help you remember those words try to associate some story or images with those words and you will remember them next is the bad man and uh mother teresa right so we all know uh, what these contrasting personalities were known for so this we know is famous by the name of bad man and words are written just under his image are malevolent malign and malicious 
और ऐसे ही मदर टेरेसा के पिक्चर के नीचे जो वर्ड्स मैंने दिए हैं दे आर बेनिफिट बेलाइन एंड बेनेवलेंट सो वट कैन बी द प्रोबल मीनिंग वी एटलीस्ट नाउ नो द कॉन्टेशन ऑफ दीज वर्ड्स सो दिस इज मोर इनक्लाइन दीज वर्ड्स दे आर मोर इनक्लाइन टू वर्ड्स द नेगेटिव और द ईवल और द हार्मुल एंड दीज वर्ड्स दे आर मोर इनक्लाइन टू वर्ड समथिंग पॉजिटिव गुड विल और लेट से गुड विल ऑफ पीपल राइट सो अगैन मेलेवलेंट इज सम थिंग्स ऑफ जनरल in in general he thinks of good for people and benevolent is one who thinks of ill will of people so word family is another way of learning the words we already uh, talked about this is the uh, talked about the ways or the tricks of learning the word this is fourth in the list which is word family now word family means there are certain words which are related to each other in some way or the other let's see an example so here we have a word speak let's say speak or speech and then there are words we've made boxes and fit some words i've left some empty boxes you can also make such table or such boxes and go on filling these empty boxes as soon as you come across a new word related to speech or speak and you can fit it here right the first one is cogent then there is banal articulate loquacious taciturn and garrulous right so cogent is an unimpressive speech banal is again uh, an un unimpressive speech taciturn is someone who doesn't like to speak too much garrulous is someone who is very talkative similarly loquacious is someone who's very talkative and then you have articulate which means clear concise speech which is understandable by everyone similarly you can also fit in words as you like in these words which are somehow related to this head of the family that is speak right let's move on to the next slide reading is helpful so i told you that the most important point or the most important trick is that you need to read more and more right so fun study is asking how to learn new words daily to learn new words daily you can add something in your reading it can be story books it can be poems it can be editorials right editorials i know is a bit difficult but then they are going to be the most helpful because by reading newspaper or editorials or at least by reading the headlines you are serving two purpose you are learning new words write down the new words learn their meaning you are also looking at their context you can relate to things right you are going to learn the proper jargon of the kind of editorial you are reading ki aap politics ka pad rahe ho koi editorial economics ka pad rahe ho ya kisi philosophy ka ya history ka ya literature ka according to it you are going to at least remember ki ye particular words jo maine us editorial mein padhe the they are somehow related to politics they are somehow related to economics at least aapko orientation pata hogi words ki right so yes uh, let's see why and how reading is important so if you read this passage my room is full of gadgets one to measure the salinity in my blood one to check my pulse now you can guess what can be salinity if this is something that is present in our blood you at least can use your intellect to guess ki salinity kya ho sakta hai right it is the amount of salt so salinity in my blood one to check my pulse one to monitor my heart so th this particular person he is agitated that he is surrounded by so many gadgets aur kya kya gadgets hai he is mentioning it ek gadget hai jo uski salinity ko measure karta hai dusra uski pulse ko measure karne ke liye hai one to monitor my heart beat with the syringes and bottles strewn around right so we can clearly and intellectually guess ki ye particular person he is a patient ya to wo kisi hospital mein hai or even if he is in his room he is being surrounded by too many gadgets to measure his pulses heart beats and salinity of his blood maybe because he is ill he is not perfectly well right so with the syringes and bottles strewn around all over the room 
तो बहुत सारे सरंजेस और बॉटल्स हैं उसके रूम में इफ यू हैव टू गेस द मीनिंग ऑफ स्ट्रून अराउंड दिस पर्सन बिकॉज ही सीम्स एजिटेटेड ही इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू यूज अ स्ट्रेंज और अ नेगेटिव एडजेक्टिव टू डिस्क्राइब थिंग्स सो यू कैन गेस ट्रून इज रैंडमली पुट विदाउट एनी ऑर्डर दे आर रैंडमली स्कैटर्ड और रैंडमली पुट इन माई रूम इट लुक्स लाइक अ वेरिटेबल साइट ऑफ होलो कास्ट सी वॉट काइंड ऑफ फिगर और वॉट काइंड ऑफ इमेज इज ही यूजिंग टू डिस्क्राइब द इन्वायरमेंट ही इज बींग लेड इन इट इज होलो कास्ट so you can guess the meaning of veritable veritable is just to stress an effect so this is a literary uh, you can say it's a literary word which is used to describe or to emphasize on particular idea to so, yahan par holocaust ki baat hui hai massive destruction so this word veritable is emphasizing the destruction so he is basically using just an image reality mein koi holo cast nahi hai uske room mein ise kehte hain figurative language just to emphasize his idea the thing that he is conveying he is writing this right so the doctors are dead beat dancing around me trying to fight a losing battle first of all he is pessimistic he is saying losing battle he know he is not going to recover right to aap isse guess kar sakte ho ki इस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्टेक्स्ट में ऑथर की टोन क्या है नेगेटिव है पॉजिटिव है न्यूट्रल है सरकेस्टिक है कॉमिक है तो यहाँ पर सरकेस्टिक है और नेगेटिव है सो द डॉक्टर्स आर डेड बीट डांसिंग अराउंड मी ट्राइंग टू फाइट अ लूजिंग बैटल टेल मी डू द डॉक्टर्स परफॉर्म ऑपरेशन और डू द डांस डांस करना तो एक्टर्स या डांसर्स का काम होता है राइट सो आई जस्ट डिसमिस द एंटायर ट्रूप and ha- have settled down entire troop is troop is a group of actors or dancers ab kyunki wo doctors ko dancers se compare kar rahe hain to wo ye common noun use kar uh, ye common noun use kar raha hai which is troop so i just dismiss the entire troop and have settled down to read over 40 pages of legal jargon to looking at the context tumhe kya lagta hai ki legal word ke sath अगर जागन यूज हुआ है तो उसका क्या मीनिंग होगा यू कैन एटलीस्ट गैस लुकिंग एट द ऑप्शन यू डेफिनेटली कैन गैस पर अगर खुद भी सोचो तो लीगल जागन इज दी वोकेबुलरी रिलेटेड टू लीगल मैटर्स राइट दिस इज लीगल जागन सो जागन इज द वोकेबुलरी पर्टिकुलर टू अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल पर्टिकुलर टू अ एरिया राइट सो देर वी हैव दिस वी हैव अ लास्ट एग्जाम्पल हियर लेट्स सी हाउ हु इज गोइंग टू गेस द राइट आंसर तो यहाँ पर चार सेंटेंसेज दिए हैं और दो दो ऑप्शन दिए हैं हर एक सेंटेंस के साथ टू चेक योर वो खेबलरी टू चेक योर कंट्रोल ओवर द वो खेबलरी लेट सी इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गेस द आंसर करेक्टली सो यू हैव योर टू मिनट्स Yes, you are right. They perform operation. So let's now move on to this slide one study. Let's see if you can answer this. I was fortuitous or fortunate in having good teachers. Yes. What is the right answer of this? Yes guys what is the right answer of this fortuitous is happening by chance and what is fortunate it is favored by the fortune favored by the we can say good luck or we can say fortune so what is the right answer here looking at the context it is by fortune in having a good teachers क्योंकि ये तो लक की बात है ये तो बाय चांस होता है कि आपको अच्छे टीचर्स मिले हैं राइट नेक्स्ट इज गांधी जी स्ट्रोव टू अचीव हिंदू मुस्लिम यूनियन या यूनिटी अगेन इफ यू आल्सो नो द ग्रामेटिकली व्हाट पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच इज दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्ड यूल यू गैस कि यहाँ पर यूनिटी आएगा यूनियन नहीं आएगा तो गांधी जी ने हिंदू मुस्लिम यूनियन के लिए स्ट्राइव नहीं किया था यूनिटी के लिए स्ट्राइव किया था 
बाय द टाइम बिर यू रीच द स्टेशनरी और स्टेशनरी अब यहाँ पर कितना माइनर सा डिफरेंस है देव रिप्लेस्ड दिस ई विद ए बट इफ यू नॉट नेवर पेड अटेंशन टू वर्ड्स द डिस्टिंक्शन इन दीज टू स्पेलिंग्स यू माइट लूज द गेम हियर सो स्टेशनरी शॉप अब यहाँ पे बताया है शॉप सो दिस स्टेशनरी मीन्स समथिंग दैट इज नॉट मूविंग अनमूवेबल राइट जो एक जगह पर स्थिर है जो चीज़ मूव नहीं कर रही है उसके लिए हम ये वाला स्टेशनरी यूज़ करते हैं एंड दिस स्टेशनरी इज़ यूज फॉर योर पेन पेंसिल और आपकी ऑफिस से रिलेटेड जो भी स्टेशनरी आइटम्स होती हैं और यहाँ पे मेंशन भी किया है स्टेशनरी शॉप तो स्टेशनरी शॉप अगर हम ये वाला वर्ड देखते हैं एज अ होल दिस मीन्स अ शॉप विच इज़ नॉट मूविंग सो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ एब्जर्ड कोई भी शॉप मूव नहीं कर रही होती है तो करेक्ट ऑप्शन शुड बी दिस वन नेक्स्ट ऑन एंड द लास्ट वन इज The corporation made an out-of-court settlement fearing adverse or adverse publicity. So, what is the right answer for this one? Yes, guys. What is the difference between adverse and adverse? Adverse is the hatred for someone, dislike for someone, right? And adverse is harmful. So what should be the right word here? The corporation made an out of court settlement fearing adverse publicity. So ऐसी publicity नहीं होगी जो adverse arise करे. Instead it should be adverse. So this is how context helps you to understand the meaning of the words. And this is how if you know the meaning of the word, you will put the right word in the right context. So what is the answer here? The answer is B B A A. सो बाई नाउ आई बिलीव इट्स क्लियर टू यू यू नो द ट्रिक्स नाउ कि आप कैसे वर्ड्स को याद कर सकते हो डोंट बी एजुटेटेड एंड बी स्मार्ट इनफ ऐसे मत सोचो कि वो कैबलरी है एंडलेस है याद नहीं हो सकती तो लेट्स स्किप दिस पार्ट एंड आई एम गोना पे मोर अटेंशन टू दी अदर पार्ट इंग्लिश पोर्शन एंड योर वो कैबलरीज आर गोइंग टू प्ले अ मेजर रोल इन योर सेलेक्शन सो try to use these methods association method making flash card using acronyms or uh, using association method root words or try to learn and make word families and trust me eventually you're going to enjoy this activity aap ek ye jo words aur vocabulary ko learn karne ki activity hai you will eventually enjoy it aapko ye fir burden nahi lagega so i hope you understood all those uh, all these tricks you now know what are the common challenges not just you but all the students here are facing the, these kind of challenges right all the students out there un sab ke liye ye cheez difficult hai koi bhi ye cheez bachpan se seekh ke nahi aata koi bhi isme expert nahi hota har kisi ko wo expertise acquire karni padti hai by hard work so you cannot escape hard work so that is all for today that's a wrap for today thank you and have a good time